So hello everyone, welcome back to the another session. Today I will be taking you through the UiPath apps multi-selective. So basically, why, what is the multi-selective uh, control and why do we use that? And we'll see how we can save the data from multi-select into data service. And then we will see how to display the multi-select saved reports into apps, display page into your path BB apps, okay? So talking about the multi-select dropdown, multi-select dropdown basically allow user to select multiple uh, records at the runtime and it validates the data and you can validate and you can do everything. So the, basically the, the source of the item to be displayed multi-select dropdown, valid data will be like, you can, you can pass the array, string object, array of object, right? And then you can display the, record and you can select it and you can save it and there are events that is called value change and then you can do alignment also on the particular control like a control alignment level placement background color marking font size etc okay <clears throat> so before that let me go through that and let me show you what exactly i'm doing in the, uh, data service so if you go here into data service what we can do we can create a choice control Choice control basically is nothing. It, it allow us to like select a predefined uh, you can say set of records, and it it allows like you want to select multiple or single. So let let's go here and I can say I have a choice set and add a choice set. I can give the choice set name, right? Maybe I can say city, and then you can just display the city like Pune, Bangalore. Mumbai and many more, right? So similarly, once you select the city, you have more details options, right? And in the in, in the more details option, what you can do, like go and select it, right? And then you can select the save them. Let's say save this. So similarly, what I have done, I have created a choice set for color, and this choice set has a set of colors, right? Like a blue, orange, purple, red, yellow. I can give something like a, then maybe some other colors also if you want maybe say maybe you can say you can say x y z color right and you can save this now i save this color and then what i did like i have a already kind of entity that calls leave request you can say and then in this one what i have done i just go here and create a field something called color and then what we need to do you need to select the relationship and then not a relationship i can say choice set and then once you select the choice set what you can say like you can select the choice set so i have selected the color set and then in color set i said like mul allow multiple selection so once you select say allow multiple selection it will allow you to select the multiple value right this can be done like uh, maybe you can use a lookup functions as another reference tables and you can do that to entity by using entity also but the best things is like you choice it and then through choice it use this control let's go here now so now i have already kind of a, uh you can say predefined uh set of kind of uh, request and then I, I i want to just save the data as a multi-select and then i want to display into kind of uh, multi-select records which is already saved into background. So if, if you see this one, I have a kind of um, page where uh, I'm just displaying the list of uh, records for leave request, and then I want to display on, I want to save it. So suppose, see here, I have a red, purple, and orange. So I want to go and just, just open, and I want to see whether this is default populating or not. So let's go and open page, right? So once I go here and come back, you can see a red, purple, orange. This is default. By default, it got populated. Now what I can do, I can select X, Y, Z as well. And then what I can do, I can go save it. Once saved, it will go back. And then you can see it got saved, right? So what, what you can do, you can delete also. Let me go and change this. Let me go and see this purple, blue, orange, yellow, right? And this is purple, blue, orange, yellow. I want to display this. So this is purple, blue, orange, yellow. And suppose I want to remove one of the yellow. So what I can do, remove this. 
So I have purple, blue, orange. Let's say this. So you can see this purple, blue, orange, right? Now, now we'll see how how this has been saved and how this is getting kind of uh, displayed into page. So let's go back. So I have created an app variables. So in the app variable lib request on the selection, I'm just transferring the value like row selected, then transfer this one to do app variables lib request. Once this is got transferred, I'm just opening the page. And let's see in this page how, how this work on save first, and then we'll see how it got populated, right? So if you go into save button, so in the save button, I have written a rules like app variable dot uh, lib request dot ID is nothing then just create it and if it ID is there, I mean the selected record is there, just update it, right? So what I can do into create new entity. So this is something called color set, which is a kind of a choice set control. So what, what I can do here, I can just take this out and then what you can do, you can say view detail. View details is nothing, this is kind of page, right? Page name. And then I can say view details dot control name. So this is my control name that is called multi-select drop down. So this is a part of, you can say the uh, code, which is kind of referring as an object of the control. And then I can see what exactly you want to see this, right? So if you go here, you can say selected item. So basically selected item is a property or method of the multi-select drop down. It suggests that what you are selecting what items has been selected on the drop down control right so it's a kind of typically it uh, basically it, it allow into multi select right so let's say selected items and then in the selected items we will have to select the number which all are selected because there are a number of uh, records right so what i can do we can write a link you query kind of so dot select and then we can say select function right select of then i can remove this select of function and then i can just create a variable kind of x right and then i can give a space x dot they see these all have the property of the choice set like this this id name number id so what i can say number id and then i i want to wrap into list to list right to list so basically, basically what this function is doing in the summary, I can say there is a number ID property from the each selected item that has been selected in the multi-select control, drop-down control within this page, right? And it stores the extracted value, extracted value in a list. So basically whatever item has been selected on this particular control from this list of you can select an item it's extracting by number id and just putting into a list right and this this is just putting into list and then just to save it right so let's go and save this so now we will we will see how how it displayed in the control so now in, suppose you you want to display into kind of uh, multi select so basically you, what how you can use a choice into multi select list source what you can do basically get choice set and then you can pass the name of the choice set, right? And then to display the name in the column, what you can say, display name, that's it. And then coming back to default selected value, in the default selected value, what 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 I'm trying to do, let me tell you, basically, basically I'm just trying to get the list of, you can say the selected item which I saved into background. So what we can say, view details dot, we can set the control name, multi-select dot drop down dot. What we need to do, data source, right? Data source, sorry, data source dot data. So basically, basically it is kind of data source is associated with multi-select control within this page, right? View page and data source is likely to contain a collection of items. And, and data property accessing the data of the data source. So basically this data source, which is holding the collection of item and data, so data is just a property of the data source just to access the data, right? And then we say data source dot data dot 
what data you want to so we can say where right where and then i can say function and then we can define the x object kind of and then what we have we have a app variable where we are just transferring all the selected item so what we can say app variable underscore leave request dot the choice set name so what is the control name the the property name that uh, in, in the data service that is called color set so the color set dot i can say contains contains which is basically contains containing all the value and then i can say what contains so i can say x dot property name like number id see number id and then what we can do we can bind this one to the list right dot to list and then we can show it. so basically basically it, it basically what what this is doing where method is a filter to collection based on the condition so basically where is a kind of a condition where the specified provide a lambda function so this lambda function is a function x define the lambda function that takes the item from the data source right represented by x parameter correct x parameter and then this app variable underscore lib request dot color set dot contains x number this is so this is saying within the lambda function the code checks if color set property of the app variable underscore live request object contains the number id right property of the current item which is current item x right current item x that contains method especially check the collection of set of the specific element and then what we are doing we are just trying to make a list so i can say this multi select drop down control basically it returns the selected item of the data source right within where the number id where the number id basically in this one of each item contains within the color set right property of app variable which is selected item and then filter item that are converted into list and then this can be used and display into the front end. So this is just a simple function. You can say BB expression function which has been written. So now you can go and see here. Now again, I will go and run this preview. Let let it go and run. So what what I'm trying to do based on this selection. On this selection, I'm just transferring the value in this app variable lib request. So once this is transferred, I will open the page. So let's go and open the page. So you, you, you might have seen that I have written a kind of lambda functions just to select the selected item. So see here now, it gave it goes into background and it go into filter the choice set, like what all control has been saved, like into that app variable, and based on that just return the value so it's returning me to purple blue orange and all and now if you want to go and add one more thing say red i can go and save this red now so this is just saving into background so now you can see here red purple blue and orange again if you want to go and see this you can go here and see this so basically in this demo what we learned we learned how to use choice set with data service and then in data service we will have seen how to transfer the value into kind of list variable entity type of list variable and then we have seen like how to use list source as a choice set and then how to display the column and then in the default selected value how to get the value based on the expression bb expression and all from the background and displaying the record and then what we have seen we have seen how to save the data into data service by using BB expression. And this is what is the functions, right? Thank you for watching. Thank you guys.